Now Ciceroni, who sent it off the crossbar moments ago. Oh, Picks yes. one in. There's a strike. And there's the all-important first goal at home for St. Louis FC. Ciceroni is third. First question, if you could have a superpower, what would it be? Probably teleportation, just to be able to go wherever I want in the world. No plane tickets, no hassle of traveling. What were the last three emojis you used? I used the laughing face one a lot. Uh, a lot of my the friends and group chats were always laughing, so the laughing face one. Probably the fire one, just uh, commenting on uh, other people's uh, pictures and stuff like that. That one's, that one's used a lot. And then, uh, I don't know, what's the last uh, emoji I've used? Maybe the soccer ball one. Just put the soccer ball in there. Just uh, a lot of my friends play soccer, so. Uh, what TV show character would it would it be most fun to change places with for a week? Uh, that's a tough one. Um, yeah, I love I love Game of Thrones, so I think it'd be sick to be Jon Snow. Uh, what habit do you have now that you wish you would have started much earlier? Uh, I think. Um, since I've become a pro, waking up really early and uh, and um, getting like a good breakfast in early in the morning. I used to sleep in in like college and stuff like that. So a uh, couple years pro now that I've learned that that's a good habit to have. Okay. Uh, what's the most recent show you've been to watch? Um, uh, uh, there's a scary show on CBS. It's called Evil. I think uh, I got through all 10 episodes of the first season pretty quickly on that one. So what movie can you watch over and over again without getting tired of? Uh, the Godfather is my favorite movie ever. Okay. Love it. What songs do you always sing along to in your car? Songs do I always sing along? I don't know. I mean, um, I like I, I hook up to the radio a lot. Not always get on like my Spotify or anything like that. So anything that plays the top forty, I pretty much know those songs and I'll sing along to them. So. What movie or TV show do you always quote? Uh, I think I use a lot of uh, South Park references a lot. I think that, that I do that a lot just because that was another one that's always on TV. I always catch myself watching. So, yeah, I use South Park references a lot. It's a funny show. So what's your favorite mantra or like what's the mantra that you live by? Um, I, I just say, I mean, uh, very cliche, but like hard work pays off. Working hard every day, it's going to eventually uh, unfold for you. So I'd say that's what I live by. Who inspired you as a young athlete? Uh, I'd say my mom. She's um, She was a college basketball player at the University of Detroit, all-time assist leader there, Hall of Fame there. So she was a good lady to have around in the house to look up to. She's a all-time winning as girls basketball coach for high school basketball in Michigan too, so. So you balled when you, you, balled when you grew, uh, growing up? Actually, I didn't. I played hockey, which is the same season, so. Fair. But I'm decent. I'm decent at basketball. So. That's fair. That's fair. If you, you know, growing up in Michigan, I feel like that's what every kid does. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of hockey players. My high school is good at hockey. So uh, what's one word to describe you? Say ambitious. I'm always trying to push myself new goals. Uh, just trying to be better every day. So self-improvement, team improvement, stuff like that. So I'm just say ambitious. What's the one phone app? Uh, or app on your phone that you can't live without? I catch myself throwing, scrolling through Instagram way too much, so probably Instagram. It's not good, but it's the way of the world now, kind of, you know? So are you, uh, does that mean you're active on social media and stuff? Yeah, I'm pretty active. I'll, uh, I'm always up to, uploading to my story what's going on and stuff like that. So I, at least I try to some days, uh, like, oh man, I should have put some content out there, but. If I say the word Pittsburgh, what's the first thing that pops into your mind? Probably, probably, the, probably the Penguins, just because I was such a big Red Wings fan growing up, and there's always some good rivalries, and uh, uh, Datsuk versus Crosby, or Zetterberg, Crosby, Zetterberg and against Malkin, that kind of stuff, so I was always uh, aware of the Penguins and what they were doing. Okay, and um, what do you, you want to tell the, you know, the fans of the Riverhounds and stuff uh, about yeah. the game and, uh, you know, about coming to Pittsburgh? Yeah, I would just say to the fans, I'm, I'm really excited to play there. I've played the, against uh, you guys so many times, and it's an unbe unbelievable environment to play in. And 
I know we're going to have an extremely strong squad and uh, we're going to push to go even farther than you guys have, have been in the last couple of years. And uh, I'm just, I, I can't wait to get to Pittsburgh and get ready and, and get going.